Okay, now that we're presented with the login screen, we can't off the bat, just like we did with the tip, log in with an LDAP account. We need to first give him permissions inside of ITM in order to do so. So we're going to log in first as the sysadmin. And now we need to go to administer users and we can do so by clicking on this icon or can, using uh, the shortcut key control U. Now I went ahead and already did this but I will explain how to do it. Um, we need to give permissions to an LDAP user. Well, I'm, what I've done is uh, I've taken the permissions from sysadmin which has permissions to do everything and anything. Uh, and created a new user and you can do this by right clicking on sysadmin and say create another user so he'll inherit the same permissions that sysadmin has I've already done so here and I'll show you what I've done by clicking on modify user now at the top you can you uh, define the user ID remember inside of the tip we had the login properties which we selected different attributes to use for authenticating as a user ID and we used UID so we didn't have to type in the full uh, the full name of the user and in this case that property doesn't mean much because we can actually explicitly define it here in this user ID field so I made it Tivoli just as it was uh, inside of the tip and the full name again that welcome screen logo was pulling from the CN attribute inside of the tip. Here it's going to pull from whatever you type here in the username field. So we want to give it the full name. And then the distinguished name is the same as you as used inside of the tip and the tip for the bind name or any account that is in LDAP. So you can just click on the find button and it'll show you all of them or you can or you can filter by typing in a, a DN so you don't have to see all of them. But you click the find and select the user account that you want. And then the description is just for uh, you know administration purposes within this administer user screen. So and now that he has that, he has permissions to log in and do everything that this admin has the ability to do. You click OK and you're off and running. Now we need to log out as this admin. And we need to log back in as uh, our new LDAP account, which we made Tivoli. And it does work. And we see here the full name is Tivoli Administrator for the welcome bar. Okay, so everything's good. So now, how do we launch? Now that single sign in is enabled, how do we launch, say, from the tip? to the tip. What do we need to do in order for that to occur? We need to first create a launch definition. We can do this by right clicking on any navigator item and selecting launch. Uh, so by default there's nothing listed so we click create new and we give it a name. I'm going to launch into TCR. So launch TCR and I'm going to make it specific to Firefox because I'm going to select which browser I'm going to be using for this launch. Now in the target, we're going to need to locate uh, the Firefox executable in order to launch that browser. So we can go right click on the properties on any one of uh, the shortcuts for Firefox and we can get um, that target. I recommend using quotations anytime there are spaces in the field. Now by default browsers 
uh, the Firefox browser as well as IE will take a URL as a, a parameter, as an input um, to launch that, uh, launch that uh, website when starting the browser. But we need to know what URL to do. So in order to do this, we're going to have to launch the tip to find what URL we want to use uh, to launch into. So for now, I will just click uh, Apply so I can save it. OK. And I will open up another tab, and I will launch the tip. Um, so I can lo lo log in as Tivoli or Tip Admin. It doesn't really matter here. I'll log in as Tivoli since we are using LDAP. And I want to launch Common Reporting, right, TCR. Um, now, this process will be the same regardless of what products you have installed inside the tip, whether it be ITNM or Omnibus or any other product. It's the same process. There's two ways you can get the URL. Now, to show you what Common Reporting looks like, I'll just click on the link. And while it loads, I'll explain to you how we're going to um, get the URL. So there's two ways to do it. One uh, is by just looking at the bottom of the browser. I can't really move the mouse, uh, but at the bottom uh, status bar, we see the whole host name that that link points to. But an easier way to copy and paste it while this loads is by right-clicking. And then say copy link location in, in Firefox. Now, in, in IE, you can't do copy link location. You can look at properties and do it similar to this way, and you can copy it from the address here. Now, I'm going to do that because I want to show you what's the important portion of the address. Inside of this address, we see the fully qualified domain name, which is required in order to share the credentials, because it needs to be part of the tivoli.demo domain. And we see here, uh, after navigation.do, we see this page ID, blah, 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 blah. But we see it's referencing com.ibm.tivoli.reporting.ui, which is essentially what this screen loads up. So in order to get there, that's the URL it needs. So we can just copy and paste this. Right. And close that box out. And we see if we were to do it from the URL bar, it doesn't change. It's only based, uh, the link automatically resolves to the standard URL. It's all done internally. So we need to get the, the URL location by hovering over any one of these links. Okay, now that we have that, um, 